I learned more uh, about sex from um, my older brother and my friends. And porn. <laughs> My mother, my mother spoke about sex, but not in a, but not in a, an open way. I think she felt that she was doing her thing, where she had to let us know that, you know, you have to be safe and you have to be careful. But it's, it's your mother. You don't really, you can't talk about sex with your parents. Well, I couldn't talk about sex with my parents. You know, so it's kind of like, uh, uh, and so there was. It wasn't really giving me loads of information, but. With my, you know, my brother kind of pointed out loads of things. Yeah. And my friends. Yeah, he also my friends uh, were the most uh, helpful uh, than my family or anyone else. Much more helpful. I think they should teach more like how to handle all the information because when we were growing up, uh, we didn't have like internet, the internet, or as much oh, yeah, information that we have course. right now. So. Uh, it was all, oh, everything was like forbidden and now you just have to type anything in the Google and it will show up, so that's, I agree with that, I think it's what the uh, parents should do. I think, I think so, I think parents, and this is, you know, I'm not a parent, but I have friends who are parents, um, and I can imagine that they want to hang on to their children's innocence and childhood for as long as they can. So I think they'd rather that children abstain from having sex. But the reality is kids are having sex and they're having sex much earlier than they used to before. So um, we live in a very sexualized society. The images around us um, are very sexualized. The adverts on TV, the films that we get to see. So kids are very curious and are very sexualized from a very young age. And um, I think teaching abstinence is probably not that realistic because kids are going to have sex. They're curious about it. It's kids have always been curious about sex, so they are going to be curious about it. I think what would work better is arming them with information and then letting them make their own change, choices. But you know, letting them know what would happen if you have sex. You know, and then obviously, ideally, you want people have sex when they're mature enough to deal with the consequences of that but um, it's, it's in, a, in, a, in an ideal world that, is, that would be what would happen but that doesn't happen that way but I think the best thing would be to arm kids with information give them information about what sex would entail you know what happens if you don't have protected sex what happens if you have sex with loads of people and they said just give kids information and I think kids are smart enough to make the right decisions, or you hope that they will be.